Hello, everyone, uh, both here in Avery and those that are following us elsewhere or in the future. Uh, it's a great honor to be here welcoming Bunser, Prenhada, uh, and, and, and Paula, and Michael Wan. Uh, Bunser, uh, uh, I'm so honored that it's uh, you giving the, the inaugural lecture uh, of this uh, 2023 spring semester at GSAT. And also because Bunsen is teaching here an advanced studio. Uh, and we're very honored that you're here as part of our gang. So. Uh, Bunsen is very well known. Uh, he's the founder of the Bangkok Project Studio, together with Paula, uh, and Paula is partner of the, of the, of the office. Uh, and uh, but and and he, there's so many distinctions that he's uh, basic that are the credentials of the work that that he's been doing and the studio has been doing, uh, and and uh, the Royal Academy Dorfman Award in 2019 from the Royal Academy of Arts in London, uh, the Silpa Hawthorne Award in in 1919, uh, the UNESCO Global Award for Sustainable Architecture in uh, uh, 2018. We could go on and on. There's a very long list, also the publications on, on his work and the work of his office, uh, the, the huge impact of his interviews, the films about his work, the exhibitions around the world, biennials that have been uh, focused on, on his work. But I want to say, uh, and of course that's something that we can easily find anywhere online, so I, I'm not going to, to dedicate too much time to go through the huge, huge list. Actually, we would take the entire uh, evening to, to do that. But I want to say that, uh, in my opinion, the work that the that, that, uh, Bangkok Project uh, Studio has been doing has been really enriching the culture of architecture and allowing it to understand itself differently. Uh, we understand architecture differently because of your work. Uh, we understand it differently uh, uh, through projects that have allowed to, to, to see architecture as something that could be all doing other things, other things that are intrinsically connected to what ecology means now. Ecology not necessarily as the culture of efficiency and, uh, and, and sustainability, but much deeper beyond that, a deep understanding of how species uh, uh, coexist and what we can learn from each other and how ontologies are being challenged by a notion of going beyond anthropocentrism. And that's something that is not only about uh, uh, humans relating to other forms of being, but also the way humans understand what it means to be in the world, not necessarily transforming it, but actually attuning to it. And I want to mention projects that are basically dealing with the capacity with, of architecture to make it possible for humans to attune with the environment, like the walk at the Wonderfoot Festival, these passages that allowed humans to be placed in a setting where their sensitivities can expand, expand and understand what it means to be part of the world now, of a world that is not only constructed by humans, but by many other forms of life and existence. Or for instance, projects that are thinking of materiality not as a given, not as something that can be extracted, but something that is, is part of cycles of life and that are eventually the result of relationship between different actors. And that's something that, for instance, we could find in the elephant, uh, in the elephant theater, in these bricks that are actually related with the material cycles uh, 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 by which life is enacted collectively. And of course, we have Lola Benalon here that is a good expert on this, that uh, it's obviously in conversation. So actually, these work are resonating with the world and with the way architecture is understood differently now. And I also think that the work that Boomser uh, is doing and his office is doing is about empowerment. With a very, very light touch, it's a project of empowerment, soft empowerment. And I'm thinking, for instance, uh, of a project that was incredibly celebrated around the world and incredibly beautiful, like the, the, the uh, woman restaurant, uh, and that got all these awards because of the beauty of its design. But beyond that, it was a project of empowering community of women that could, through this uh, restaurant, uh, uh, redesign the way they were part of societies and ecosystems. And definitely, uh, the, the capacity of architecture to produce interspecies alliances. So moving away from a culture of exploitation and extraction, uh, where humans are using and defining the others as sacrificable, 
but a culture that basically there's an understanding that different species can work and need to, to, life, to live and start uh, life together. And I'm thinking of the Elephant Museum and the Elephant Study Center at Surin. Uh, all these are fundamental projects that are expanding the way we understand ecology, not as a project of, let's say, respond to a uh, content, contingent crisis of basically lack of resources or a problem or something like that, but understanding that those crises are indicating the failure of a system that is placing humans at the center and setting the rest as available for exploitation. And I think this is a fundamental transformation that goes not only about the notion of materiality, but also even the way through our bodies, the way that we can, as humans, sense what it means to be part of a world that is constructed collectively. And this capacity of architecture to span sensorial, the sensorial capacity to understand that is, is really an ontological, relational, uh, political project what architecture is part of, and not just the functional one, the one that has to do with how our ecosystems are collectively <coughs> produced and what are the ideologies and the values that we insert in these alliances is what the architect, what makes the architecture of Boomser and Prentada and the, and the Bangkok Project Studio so important. I think it's, we're very lucky to have you here, and it's a great opportunity to reflect on this. Uh, and I'm also very happy that uh, uh, after uh, Boomsan's uh, lecture, Michael Wan will be responding and moderating a debate with everyone here. And, uh, and, and I want to, to also mention how lucky we are to have Michael Wan teaching here uh, uh, at, at this point in the school, and uh, there's Michael is, for me, one of the most relevant artists uh, now, and also thinkers and doers and, and practitioners working in the intersection, I would say, of art, ecological practices in architecture. And I want to, and I want to mention that the work that Michael is doing, understanding that life is enacted also in the entanglement of, uh, uh, of biology, technology, finances, infrastructures is crucial and understand what means life in, the, in, in, the, in this tension of the, of the probably failure, I would say, of advanced capitalism and, and understanding what that, how that crisis, those crises are informed from specific forms of life. It's very much connected uh, to the work that, that Bunsen is doing. I want to read uh, a sentence that uh, uh, Bunsen said in a, uh, in a recent interview. Uh, about his architecture, an architecture that takes into consideration the environmental and natural resources, social structure, and at other times, the infrastructure. And I think that this is in, in, intrinsically one of the challenges that as a school of architecture, we are now building on. The move from a culture of abstraction, where architecture is understood as an object, as objectual things that live on their own, to understand that what we're working uh, with is the entanglement of architecture with complex systems of life, ecology, finances, technologies, cultures, and those are the, and in that conflict is where uh, the work on Boomser and the discussion with, with Michael one makes total sense. So with this, I, I want you to join me in welcoming Boomser to this tribune. <laughs> Hello everyone, and uh, thank you so much for and uh, Dean Andres and uh, the chief staff to having me before and uh, speak in tonight. And uh, this is and uh, uh, the speaking is and uh, it talk about and uh, the the my experience that I want to share with you and. Uh, it and the work in the past and uh, the recent work. It. So and uh, at first it and when I work it and uh, I don't have any theory, I don't have the philosophy. It's and uh, I just did the work with and uh, my attitude. This is and uh, one of and uh, is the important of the core of the work that I I always think about that. And uh, it's my background and. Uh, I have the hearing problem. It's and my ear is and uh, have the problem about it and my left side and uh, I cannot hear zero percent and, and the left side I, I I can 
here only and 30 percent it means it lies and I almost dead and when I was born then. so and uh, this is why my work is related to about and the sensation this is and uh, and uh, the first the first work is and we start in 2011 in a uh, film school and uh, the school is and uh, I want to and uh, make something like and uh, the student who come to uh, study in this school and we use, use it like and the fundamental of the sense it like and say, seeing, it's hearing, smelling and temperature and spirit. So and it, I think I think that is and uh, when it's and uh, the people it it lost and uh, one cent it maybe it enhanced to the other cent. So and uh, this is and uh, the place it for and teach the student it understand about and uh, how to living with the nature by using that light and the small courtyard to connect it between and the outside and the classroom and. Uh, in fact, and uh, when I decided, I think about and uh, how to uh, create that the ambience or the atmosphere like it. I decided the wind, dimness, silence, and shadow. It, and uh, the place it, I want to and the student it learn about and uh, the sense of the human. Because it and this is and one of the process of the film study. If you have it and uh, the scent and the feeling, it may lie and you still alive. It. it my architecture is one again. It reminds you that you are still a human. And after that, it and uh, I got the scholarship. It's for and making the research. That the research topic that is the one of it related to my life. I call it this research like and the sound brick. The sound brick is research is about and the sound in architecture in, in the past. The case study that I researched is like it and my first work is the Cantona theme school and the second is under the temple and the third one is a brick clean and the fourth one is under it it's in a temple also, but it's a different. So, and the first research that I call like it's the sound, sound of the silence in the film school. Because it, when we walk in the pathway of the film school, when you clap the hand, we, the sound is it, it like the amplify, it is reflected. So, and the second, second place is and I call like an, an the mysterious sound in an, the Sichum temple the north of the Thailand. This is an, a 700 year ago of the temple. The temple have to and the, the biggest image Buddha to and situated to inside the temple. This is an, the place that we, and we have to like the hidden sound because we have to the small is and uh, a small gap that is like on a pathway uh, in between in the wall. And I come to and uh, to see the inside and uh, and bring the people to know about and what is and uh, the secret sound which come from the image Buddha in the past. This is and the diagram is a study about and when I walk through and the step to in the wall and uh, the people is and uh, come to in it look like and a small hole is near it like and uh, the mouth of the image Buddha it, it look like and the image Buddha can speak by by himself and another one is and uh, I study about the saturation is an in the big clean the place it look like and the uh, architecture is for and uh, five brick that is related to and uh, the, my work. Did. But the one thing that is very interesting because it and this architecture is and uh, start from and use a three finger and two contracted to stacking and uh, the the big layer it become to the dome. So and when it the south the inside it have to and the south is different. 
And the first one is on the south side, is an in an Mahayong Temple. This this place is like it's a long path where it and the wall is very low. So and when the people to walk to inside, they can hear it the sound from the outside, and and then they can hear the sound to inside at the same time. So it like and, and this place is very miracle to me. It's about to connect it when in the sound, the outside, the inside. In this research that I have learned that it's that the silence can tell the everything. And then it's under uh, in 2020, uh, 21st, it's under uh, in I work with and uh, some with and uh, the women. And we call like the women restaurant in and uh, Ayutthaya province. The place that is and uh, it it lie and uh, it have to the three thing for the, the hidden element. It lies the hidden place, the hidden people, and a hidden recipe. The place is um, situated in a um, small village. It looks like the middle of nowhere. Ayutthaya is um, like um, the, the World Heritage site, but this site is it, it far from the World Heritage site. It is not the tourist spot. Yet. So um, uh, this place it comprises the old lady is some with widow, some with un unmarried lady. Every morning, it's done the, the old lady and come to see the temple, and then they bring the food and to give to the monk. This is and the daily life of and uh, the, the the old lady in this place. The food is very interesting, so I try to and uh, bring it and the hidden food to become to and uh, the one of and uh, the interesting food. That and for the architecture, I make the architecture it it look like it and like the food it hidden. So the architecture it look like the hidden in in the village also. And we call the name, and we separated it in the five building, and uh, we keep the name. It's like the Kanma Kantong, it's Kanma Nghiem, or it's under uh, the name of the Kanma. It like it let back them. It's at and uh, one of the important people. It's and a place it for and uh, the people can visit it. And the inside room, we use it and uh, the material that is combined between and uh, the, un the, the forgotten material light and the glass box and uh, mix with and the wood it and use and uh, the large window to open it light and uh, to, to ventilation because it and uh, in along in the front of and the building is and it, and the liver. I use it and uh, the glass box to combine with and the wood. And so it's and uh, when in the daytime it and the sunlight is, is come in the inside. And in the night time it look like an uh, Latin. In the past it and uh, the grandma is received and 14 monthly allowance from the government. It equal about and uh, two and a half big matter per a month. That is very, 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 very. It less money, you know. It's and uh, it will in very difficult to to live it. But it like now it and uh, their life is and better. So and uh, if one grandma is can. Uh, he don't go to the school, have, to, have no educated, he cannot write the letter. So, and uh, he tried to start to write the letter, and uh, in Thai, it means thank you for the, everyone to visit that, that, that village. Um, and, and then it's under, uh, this is under uh, my art installation. It's not about and uh, architecture, but it's a cool letter. It uh, look at me like and uh, the the 
the the artist and architect uh, so and uh, this is and the uh, project is and uh, that she she want me to and uh, make something in the zoo that is and uh, I call like it and this is and the life tower it and in, in the Thailand Benale it's a koala zoo and the this project is and uh, I want to to express the something about and uh, the art it can be sent the message how to awareness to and uh, the ecology or the environmental so and then I think about and uh, in the side is very interesting because it is an a size specific art so and uh, the size is and uh, comprise the animal so and the animal in the zoo you have to and uh, different because this zoo is and the animal cannot walk around it not live in the cell so and uh, the one thing that is unrelated to our culture is the rice the rice is and uh, it and uh, the food for an uh, human and the rice is the food for the animal also so i try to bring and this culture and this environmental to combine together, it become to the art piece. I recycle with the rice barn because it, this rice barn is and is, is right now is and the, the owner is don't, don't don't want to rice barn because it is look old. They want to a rice barn for the new that made by the metal cheese. So if rice barn is was it and the, I bring the light band with light and to study about and the component. And then it bring the five light band and take off it and uh, comprise with the new one. It become to the tower. It and uh, it's the place is in and light an animal. It light and the deer, the people, or and the bird. It can it and uh, use and this place and living this place. And then we start to and uh, sketch with the light and the quick sketch. We saw and uh, this idea and selected the size and next with the drawing. It for it like it and the cloth with the cloth wood. It for next with the structure is a strong and then make it a drawing for and uh, the the constructor can make it. And after that, it's under uh, the tower. It was uh, installed. And make it like uh, the tower. The tower is like the oval shape, uh, and we and uh, make it like the staircase. It like it and supported to the tower. And when the place that the animal is found nearby the side, it form the free fall. And deer. And when the deer to come to inside to eat the rice. And the bird is come, and the kid can also and can look, look and climb the star and come to see the animal to inside. And maybe he can come to inside to joy. In the daytime, it and the place it for and the human. At the night time, it an animal it you come to. This place it it lie and. Uh, the place for the animal and the human is separated in the time. And um, it to me, I think in the art function as and uh, reflected to the society. It reflecting and emphasizing important issue that the artist wish to convey. And the light tower is welcome to visitor to 24 hours a day. No matter how big or small, this is under core being. And, and then it's under, we work with under the big animal. It's an, it's an elephant. And uh, we call it the elephant world project. The idea is and uh, we, we try to think about the animal first. Because the animal in Thailand is a symbol 
of and uh, our country. So and um, we let's take the animal. It like it uh, some of and uh, the the important animal is like and the spiritual animal. So and uh, this project is situated in the Sulin, northeastern of the Thailand. We start the project from uh, 2015 and finished in 2020. Normally, it's and uh, the the human is and always think about themselves. So and um, with the non-human center, that is, we we try to think about that everyone is equal and everyone is important. So it's an, uh, my architecture is less the question how the human nature and other living species is live together. And what architecture is created for the human? The Elephant World Project is set a non-human centered approach that amplifies the humanity by showing the empathy for the elephant. The project is under situated in and the place that is we call like the Kui people. This is and the native people in this village. It's 400 years ago, and now um, they live there. Elephants in Thailand, they are not slaves of our forced labor. But elephant in this village, it look like and the part of the community. He look like in the family. In this project, it's and uh, we have to and a place is very interesting. It look like and uh, when elephant die, we send the elephant to the graveyard. When the elephant born, or we have to calmly, an, ele an elephant and a human will come to the temple, and we have to and the pawn for the elephant to take a bath, or an elephant to walk away, or we have to at the house or oh, and the spiritual of and the people and elephant shall live together. It's a one time it's and uh, when when the urbanized has taken away the forest and the traditional way of the living. It caused drought and the difficulty to grow the elephant food. The forest is what they tried. They have no choice. So and uh, the keeper, the elephant, have to go to and uh, in the city, like a tourist city. On the way, they have to accident. Sometimes they die. The project it is commissioned by a local government to they want to create to the new home. It for and uh, the elephant and it want to restore it, the, the death right for later. I start with and the idea with it like and the first get to try to understand about and like and the elephant is like a human, you know, then the, so we try to make them to, to, to understand. It's like the characteristic of the elephant. It lies on the elephant movement. It lies on the comparison is between a human and elephant step. Even that we study about the elephant vision. In fact, the elephant is on a different the human. They lie on and the, 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 we call it the bright color. So they can see it lie on the gray color. One thing that elephant is and uh, it's very good is smell uh, smelling ability. You know, it, they can smell about and uh, maybe almost uh, 20 kilometers. You can smell about the water. That's why it's and the uh, elephant it it we call like and uh, the the animal who is an umbrella species. So and uh, when the elephant die, we bring the elephant and to and uh, the graveyard. This project and um, we have to and uh, the facility, it, and the first is a brick observation tower, the second is a uh, cultural courtyard, and the third one is an uh, elephant museum. We try to an uh, integrate that in an uh, existing village. 
The first building is under the tower. The tower is an water design. It's by it and uh, connected with the sky and the cloud. It looks like and the place of the landscape. It's not the vertical. It's horizontal in the skyline. Mostly and uh, we design it and uh, the tower. It want to last the people to the top step. It to me, I think it and uh, every every story is very interesting. And so I want to the people to walk and climb up the star and just it and uh, slow down to spend the time in every floor. And uh, in this place, it's a very good ventilation. So and uh, the building it and this side lies and uh, lies and use in the air, the natural air to blow, even it and the structure and the floor and the staircase, this is and the place is for and the wind can blow it. One thing in this place, the wind velocity is very interesting. So and uh, when the people to and climb up to the top step. I use and uh, the wind velocity, it's like and wind speed, it's about 25 to 30 kilometers per hour to and use and uh, to hold it and uh, at, uh, at apitong seat and can blow. The apitong seat, it looks like a uh, helicopter wing. So and when we blow it, and that is why we, we make it a tower in this area because it and the forest was destroyed. We want to make the something why right. and observation tower is not only the tower, but it's the first tree that it give birth to the other tree in the area. In the future, we cannot see the architecture. We will see the tree recover in this architecture. This is um, my proposal. The architecture it's not only the architecture, but it's a part of and the landscape. And the another building is an a cultural courtyard. We aim to and use and this courtyard is for the recreation and cultural event and religious ceremony. The idea is and come from it and uh, the village people house, it's a good house. I interesting about uh, the column and, and the footing and try to study about the footing in this village. So and um, one thing is and um, like the collector is and uh, the cable roof. The elephant and the people it live together in this house. So and uh, we try to make it the space, it like it, make it and the sloping mound and make it a bend for the people and the plant pot it for and the native tea to be replanted. And the idea is and make it a big roof. The big roof is and uh, we cut it in the, in the middle, it make it a, it's a big hole and then it and we cut it a small hole and let the sunlight in, uh, from the outside to inside and make and the, the, uh, the theater is for and the people it can sit there. And this is and uh, worry us the whole up from the roof. It. And we bring an uh, elephant to walk it light and uh, it's like the part where it it normally is and uh, the elephant it it like the animal, so and uh, they like it and uh, freedom to walking. So and I decide like it and uh, the the theater it look like and free shaped it. But elephant is sometimes we have to 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 be careful because it an elephant is an uh, big animal. It sometimes they test it. So we have to uh, light it, uh, it's a less light, it's a boundary. 
with the boundary to the safety. But I don't want to make it like the leo to protect them. So I make it, I bring the, the stone, with the big stone that would confirm that earlier to lie is and the boundary is between the human and the elephant. The face is for and the human. And the place is for and the, the elephant also. And we compare between and the human scale and the elephant scale. And we, we look at it as something, the lifestyle of the elephant. If sometimes the elephant is itchy. They use an, their body and two and uh, light it and the scrap is on the column. So and in this building, we make it light and uh, the column that the elephant can scrap it. The architecture is not only about the architecture. I try to think about the architecture, maybe it becomes to the infrastructure. Elephant need the water. In this area, it's very hot. Sometimes some, uh, in the summer, in the summertime, and we lack of and the water. It's a long time. So and I, I dig the soil and make the pond, and then I bring the soil to burn the theater. This is and uh, the idea that I try to make is bring the natural resource that become to the architecture. This is and the way that is and uh, if we, the elephant have to find the water, they have to use about and uh, the it's very, very far there. So if we make it light and uh, the, the pond, the new pond, it, uh, it, it close to an elephant can use it. So an elephant is happy to take a bath in the pond. And about and the museum. This museum is and, uh, it different from and the museum in Thailand because it normally in Thailand you like to make the museum like a multimedia museum. So and uh, it's very trendy in, in Thailand. So and it, to me, I think about and uh, in this place, it's like in the middle of nowhere. So the museum, it should be, it look like and the place, it's for the elephant, it like and the people can use in this museum also. So and uh, this museum, it look like it's a part of and uh, the museum in and uh, in the village. The idea is and uh, the comfort and the cool house. The cool house have no door, so and you just have in they just the uh, design like and uh, the wall. So and. Uh, I think uh, this idea is to come to an uh, elephant museum. They have no door. So and when the elephant uh, come to uh, this pathway, it like it's a place it for an elephant. And when the people would come to uh, this museum, so you have to uh, follow the elephant to walk to inside. It's sometime it makes and the people to feel like it's a surprise. It light me in when the first time that I visited the site, I I I found the elephant in the forest. So this is and it surprised me. So and uh, for this museum, I I think about and uh, normally it's and uh, the museum it we have to put the the object to inside. But it's to me, I think if the object is to the outside, the people should and leave the inside. So and the place is like and the, the people look at the elephant with the outside and the people it look like the animal in the room. So and uh, the museum is and I want to and uh, the people to know about and the cool people with their story and from their mouth. Because it and uh, this is and the museum of and the village. 
his light and this uncle. And uh, this uncle is and his son was killed by his elephant. And uh, so and uh, I will ask him about and what would you like to do and for your elephant after it, your son was killed by your elephant. And he said that and uh, do you want me to bring my elephant to call the police? The, to call, uh, do you want me to call the police to bring my elephant to go to the cell? And he said that, no, no, I cannot do it. That my elephant is one of my son. They are my family. This is, and the story is from and the people who live there. This is, I want the visitor to come here and listen about and their story from their mouth. If the place is like, I call it like a light museum. And next is new skyline. And look like at the roof cave. In fact, it, and uh, I decide in this project only 50%. The rest is fulfilled by the nature. This is and my local spirituality of the unskilled labor are the loneliness, imperfect, mistakes, and surprising. My architecture performs three functions preserving the culture, reviving the forest, and build a self sustained community. When it the project is starting, and the first day of the construction is until the project was finally launched. And, and during it, the COVID-19 pandemic, the, the, this architecture it brought with the elephant back home, and the good people with, and put down the sticker and start to and the hold the selfie stick to broadcast the a lifestyle to the people with the world. Respect to each other is very important. For in this project, it, I have learned that with some time, the animal it can transform the city, bring hope and power to the human. Humanity is not just about the human relationship. We address our humanity through our relationship with other living creatures on the planet. The respect and the contempt we show toward the animal reflected the value of us as a human race. After that, it, and, uh, we got invited from and, uh, Versailles Benale. So and, uh, one thing that it, and I have to experience it while I work in an elephant world project. So it, and this is and one of and my develop of and the idea. Normally it's an elephant food and they, they are and, and, and uh, they eat and uh, the, like it's a classic. For example, it's like and the napier class, banana class and stuka crane. So, and uh, the elephant eat, eat a lot of it. When they eat it, I found uh, some poop with uh, the poop with, and uh, with every place, uh, in the house, in the pathway, in uh, the forest. Uh, so, and uh, I think the poop with a lot of it. So, and I try to think about and uh, how to use and the poop or the dung from the elephant to light, uh, to make it a uh, value material. And then we make it and uh, the brick mold, it uh, light the round brick mold, make for and, uh, the elephant dung pit. And the brick is and, uh, made one by one. We mix light and uh, the elephant dung and uh, the small cement to mix together. 
This is not a fry big set. This is an this is an the the air dry big set. And it become two and uh, the brick that it we start to give an the idea to make and the pavilion in and the Versailles that situated in and the king the king of Versailles in and Versailles Palace. The dung is formed with and the, the village that it become two and situated in the palace in the in, in Versailles. We produce and uh, this pavilion in Thailand and ship to the west side and install it by it and uh, the craftsmanship. We have to only and two craftsmanship and we have to only and seven day and for install and this installation. And the install is finished and we collaborated with and uh, the landscape school in west side the, we give it like and the, the name of and the class that the elephant eat and the landscape school is try to compare about and the, the class that is the, the animal can eat is the same so this is and the place for life and we call life and a living architecture that is a place for and life and the animal to can live to inside And being the sum up and the final task is for the, it look like the, our spirituality. We normally we use and light the matic color linen it to and light and the, the tie in the tree. It need light and we, we want to, to protect the tree. So, and this idea is become to the final task it make and the space to have to uh, light as a uh, place is for the spirituality. And this is an uh, opening day for and the people to come. The elephant dung is and uh, not only make the pavilion, it make us to and uh, the good health. It lies in and uh, I try to and uh, bring the knowledge from the global south. It's like and the material and know how and the culture is from the, our country to share and the people in front, especially with the future generation to learn it. And at the same year, it's an, I got invited from and the, the Royal Academy of Art in the, the summer exhibition in London. So and uh, the curator is one to and uh, want me to and uh, to make the elephant dung again so and then I try to make the something but this way is different from in the west side the west side is made from the Thailand but it's an in 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 UK it's an they want we want me to and uh, give the knowledge to share for and uh, the young generation so and the dung is and can make it from and the uh, Rochester Zoo because it and uh, in Rochester Zoo we have two and uh, two elephant and uh, so we can and uh, produce and the the dung with and the uh, met from the London so this and I think that that is and um, very good to share and the idea from and uh, in UK and so and. Uh, the young generation is and uh, make it like the sum of the student with sum up and the young architect who make it a workshop and I send the mole and from the Thailand to them. The dung is and uh, this dung is it make from like an lamb mixed with and uh, the dung with and so this big is lighter than it and uh, the 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 Thai the elephant dung elephant dung from Thai big. When we installed it, and uh, we make it light with the tower, and when it and uh, the critic 
come to see and keep under the comment it for and uh, keep under the idea it for and uh, this work and make it the final task the final task is to me in this place I want to show about uh, how and the goal attack to the dunk it so it and this is one of and uh, my master to send to and the people to see it, the art installation it's like and uh, I think that in Europe that is a developing religion it's the cradle of the scientific as one like the thinker like and the philosopher and the artist that is for my work it, it I want to reflect that a person who come from and earlier with an a least natural resource it's where the people are kind humble and rely on their instinct to survive in the mindset of the limitation I hope to give an, a new perspective that the people in Europe that will be able to learn from it and and another project is and I call like and the Nelamit. The Nelamit is and uh, one of and uh, the building in a uh, wonderful festival. The wonderful festival is and uh, it's a festival is about and uh, sustainability. So and um, in this year is and uh, I I decide is the uh, one pavilion. It looks like at a town hall. It's like and uh, multi purpose in the area. The idea is and uh, is related to about and uh, I want to show about when in the past that the human used the animal to pull it like and the the the, the vehicle so uh, in this element then it it different I want and the human to put the structure and it look like and the animal in the past that so this structure is very happy about and 52 ton so and um, uh, we spend around and uh, 60 people to put this the structure to move it. When we put the, this structure, because it's an, in, in, in the background, you will see it like and the forest. So if you put in the front, it, you have to more space. It. I want to talking about and uh, in this pavilion, not only the pavilion, but it took like it and uh, the backstage of and the show. Normally, we have to the stage. It like in the flat, in the background of and the stage. But it, I think it like and uh, when we use it like and uh, the stage is like and the perspective. So and this is and. Uh, the idea that we want to relate that I want to and uh, obstruct the view uh, of and the forest at the back there. And the roof, it, and we decide it like it and uh, the roof is kind of ventilation. It like a stack roof, but it, we have to and uh, the gap is for the wind, it can blow. The, so, and this pavilion is, is warm, it's very cool in the daytime and the night time. Expect before and the people can live and enjoy in the activity for the 24 hours. And the detail of the structure. <coughs> in fact, it's under the element it locked it and I think it and uh, it is a lack in humility and respect for and the nature. In the same festival, it's and uh, I have to another building. So and the building is and the mess form like and the the old wood is like the recycled wood. This place we call like the open kitchen. The space for and the kitchen from and like the grandmother who and uh, bring and the food and the kitchen to make inside it. So and uh, I selected the wood. The wood is from and uh, the old tobacco factory. 
So right now they don't use they don't use the wood yet. So I try to bring a recycle wood and select it and build and become to the new one. I I created for and uh, the light is the big window. It for and uh, open and close it. And sometimes when we work it, we have to other side and and help it and the uh, the worker to install. And the big window is what open. When we open, we really keep and the wind will blow. So and uh, at night and man, uh, many people will and uh, come to and uh, on the second floor and sleep there. So and they don't want to go back to and uh, the hotel. <laughs> this and the uh, place is for and uh, we try to use and uh, the wood and light and uh, make it and uh, new compost. It's for the new structure. And we have to and a small building that is related to an open kitchen. I call it like an a food scale because it and uh, this is and uh, the building is related to and and to produce and recipe is produce and uh, sum up and the plan. So and uh, it like and uh, the the insect hotel. So I make it, uh, I bring it the recycle wood, it make it for the insect hotel, or the chicken coop, or the compost bin. This is and, uh, one of the parts that I call the foodscape in uh, this project. And the last one, this is and, uh, the house. The house is and, uh, in the project, it, and we call it like, the back of the house. It normally, it we design the house. It 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 like it, and we like to show it the front of the house because it the house is an interesting when we look from and the roasted. So this is and uh, my idea. I want to and uh, the house is reverted the steam like the t-shirt. So and like it and. Uh, the inside is invisible on the outside. This is on the front of the house. There is an, I decided it like, and uh, the house look like it's a solid. It's just it have to the, and the small door on the small window. Because it, and in this house, it, and uh, in the front, we have nothing to see because it, the, the, the house is facing to and the townhouse. So if the townhouse don't want to see and the people in the opposite side, so it, I think the people in the house don't want to see the townhouse also. So and uh, we make it the house is like it's a story. But in the back of the house, it, it's very good. It's very good view and very good, very good temperature because it, the wind it blow it from the south. This and this back of the house it and uh, it oriented and to and the, the south. So and we open the house at the south side and make it lie and that I have said that it's an imperfection. It lie and uh, when we we stacking we mentally it lie at the mortar. So it's and uh, one thing that it uh, normally it and uh, the mortar it like it like that it not in front but inside. So I think it's and uh, maybe it's really interesting it to me. I want to show that this one. So and when the people come, this is and uh, when we come to inside, it, the space it, it, in front it look like it's solid. It look like a closet. But for the inside, we open 
it to and the light and we open to and uh, the wind to come to inside and make it lighter easy the, the structure it might form the concrete but with the some part it might form the small leveling it light and the heavy and lighter it can combine together and use the brick it almost almost uh, everywhere in this place. And this is on the second floor. We always use on the big window and to and uh, open for and uh, request the wind from an outside. It like the back of the house is very good view because it look like the forest in the city. And next light and the the one of the parts of the element it to come to the not the built in structure, but it look like and the one of the part of element of the architecture it will come to the furniture. And this is and the third floor is like and the workplace. This is on the back of the house. The house is not perfect. When we design the house, we conform with something like, and when we use yet, it, and we have to something like the mid-take. And this picture is on my son and my doctor. He try to, try to and, uh, protect the land it from the outside because it and uh, this this side it and uh, the water is leaked because it and uh, the land the coming so and uh, this is and the light this is my house and I work the house this house is and uh, driving me and to 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 be and uh, to be it and the quality of work but so and uh, I think it's and uh, I make the house. I want to warning myself about and never forget where I come from in the past. This is and uh, the way of the thinking. And the que the first question that ask me about uh, who am I? Yes, right now I am a human. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bunsen and Paula, for sharing that work. There were so many just incredibly beautiful and poignant projects. And um, I kept thinking how I wished I could really be in those spaces and experience them. But because of the way you describe them, there, there's so much more than visual experiences that there, um, there's this element of, of sound and of touch and also something so relational about those projects, like being in relationship with other people and with other species, with the plants and the materials that uh, make up these projects. Um, and, but I was also thinking that even if I were to go to yeah. these places, that to really experience them and to really be a part of them, um, I would have to kind of be engaged in all the processes that make up those spaces, like whether those are like the, um, the lifespan of an elephant and to kind of experience the death of mm -hmm. an elephant at that site, um, or just the day-to-day -day rhythms of sort of living with and caring for these other creatures, um, or even like the digestive cycles that make up the elephant dung bricks. And so I was thinking it was something to kind of an architecture that actually, even if I were to go to, I wouldn't fully um, experience. Um, so I'm wondering if you can just talk about some of those different kind of temporal and kind of um, process-based dimensions of these works and, and how you think about kind of engaging with those different temporalities at a particular site. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Go back. 
เียมันทำถึงเออเทมเพลตเราไปอินเทอร์เพลตแต่ละโปรเจกต์อะไรเนาะเรามาเอาใหม่เกี่ยวกับเทมเพลตเราก็แต่ละโปรเจกต์เทมเพลตเจอร์ And uh, it is about the climate. Yeah, it's in for it and uh, in the project it we it lie and in Thailand we live it lie and if you see the project it lie in the middle of nowhere. It uh, normally it and uh, the project situated in the local area. It and uh, we don't have the project in and the city, even it and uh, my house. So and then the. We we think about and uh, when we we decide it and the project, it, we try to understand about and uh, what you call like and the site specific. It's like the artist, you know. But the site specific is and uh, talking about not only about and uh, the content, but it related to about and uh, the nature. It related about the climate. It related about and the season also because it and uh, and uh, every place it has to different. So and uh, it and uh, the my project is and uh, when we we talk about and uh, the temperature in light and and the film school. When you come to inside, and I decide it's like the pathway. So it's the pathway not only about the sound. But the part where it related about the wind blow. So and this is and like and uh, the way that that I try the people to like the connected the people, the connect the people to when out of the room and come to use and this pathway. It feel like and the people to come to the outside. At first it, and uh, the client it don't like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The client, the professor, the the student is don't like it because it when it the uh, rain come, so and he they ask me that it what happened when it the rain come there. You have to no roof there. So I said that it's uh, yes when the rain come you will wet it. <laughs> he said that why? I I said why because it and. Uh, We are that human, you know, and and, and you, you you will be it and film director. You will be and uh, like you work it like and uh, the film. The film is the outdoor. If the learn comes, how do you solve the problem? This is and uh, the way that it and we work it like that 24 hours. So the film school like the artist like the architect. So and we have to strong. So it's like it the place it the the professor is ask me about it the floor it not smooth it because it have to the small stone a lot it. So I said that if you set up the light with the camera, you have to think it because when you go to outdoor shooting, the outdoor shooting is the floor is not smooth it. So you have to think before you set up and uh, the 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 camera stand. So it's like an an uh, another project in in uh, in uh, Sulin Province is an uh, the 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 big tower. This is very good wind. I use in the wind to blow the apitong. So because it and uh, I don't know it and uh, normally why we have to make it a uh, high rise tower for what? It? But in this area, I use the high rise tower is for plant the seed, use the, the the plant the tree. I mean, so you said you like difficulty, and so part of that is um, mm -hmm. kind of encouraging these kind of encounter, these sensory encounters that you mm -hmm. might otherwise um, avoid, um, and you're kind of forcing an encounter mm -hmm. with these. More difficult sensory experiences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you you talked about this importance of site specificity, when you are kind of in a site, like how do you actually go about engaging with that site and kind of um, forming these collaborations with mm -hmm. all of the kind of agents and living things and materials mm -hmm. that you're going to work with? Like how do you establish 
those relationships and kind of select your, like, kind of the, the co-conspirators and kind of creating a, um, a place. You know, it's in, uh, in, in Thailand. The nature and the, the spiritual is the same. It's like we call, in, in Thailand we call it a the, the liver. In Thai we call a liver, we call ma nam. Ma it means mother. Nam it means water. So, and uh, we call it like, and uh, Mana is mean that culture and nature it can combine together. Mm -hmm. So this is and everything it have to the spiritual. It's like if you see the tree that we that I use and the matic color linen is tied for the tree. The people is and believe that if um, you use and uh, this linen to cover the tree, it means you cannot touch it. Because we have to, and uh, some spiritual, we have to the God to inside. So this is and the way of and how to protect the tree in this in this country. So it's like and uh, it related to about and the culture and the nature. We cannot uh, separate them. So you kind of you're able to enter through those different dimensions, both the kind of spiritual dimension because it's one and the same with these sort of material and living dimensions of the site. Yeah. 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 And you talked about this idea of living architecture, um, and there is a sense that so many of these buildings and projects they they have this more active kind of performative um, dimension that they they're not static. They're, like the forest continues to grow mm -hmm. as people kind of ascend that tower and spread the seeds. Um, or even I imagine some of these kind of experimental materials, they probably will change over time. Like I imagine the, the dung bricks change mm -hmm. over time. Um, so what is that? How do you kind of choreograph or think about um, the way that the building or the larger site evolves? เดี๋ยวเลยตลอดใช่มั้ยเดี๋ยวเราป่ามันก็โตขึ้นครับเราก็แล้วก็ดังไปมันก็แบบเหมือนกับเปลี่ยนร้ายแล้วแต่ว่
that you see, you see like it once get that I get to a recycle paper in a light and uh, the, 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 the light tower. I want to show that it, I remind of myself when I was younger. So we have no paper. We just only about and the painting. So and the paper is a recycled paper is come from the newspaper. So that's why we, we draw the something on the newspaper to learn it by myself. And this in this way is remind me in the past. So and like now it, I become to use an uh, idea it, when I was young it become to like now. And I try to like because in Thailand we have to the money crisis. As you know that is unlike and research economics was in, uh, 20 years ago. So it's everything the bankrupt, that everything is broken, the people lost the job there. So we try to we try to think about and if we can use the thing it's for life and uh, everything is important, it's valuable. So there's, yeah, there's something, that sense of kind of regeneration and sort of using existing materials and the kind of, yeah, the kind of thriftiness that's embedded in that seems really important. I'm wondering if it's also tied to the, the kind of rural context that you're often working in, that kind of need to kind of use everything at hand and kind of think about the full kind of life cycle mm -hmm. of the materials and of the... Um, of the kind of buildings themselves. And in a way, you, you talked about kind of decentering the human, but I also felt there's some kind of like decentering the urban in the mm -hmm. work, and it's sort of focused on these rural sites. I think we, we, we cannot separate that about and uh, with everything in the world. I think it's and uh, everything we can the combine. We have to listen to the combine. Yeah. The elephant, the human look at them like the animal. If the elephant ask me back, yeah, the elephant look at me like what? I think they don't think about, they don't look me like a human. That look at me like something, it's like an, something like control, yeah. you know? It's an, uh, but it's an, if you keep an feeling to the elephant, it's like an elephant, it's like an uh, flame, sun. This is an, uh, it makes the animal it understand. Yeah. It's like an, you have to pet it. So if you and uh, sometimes you and angry your pet, you hit them. But in this village, it, it look like it, 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 they don't want to, to hit the, the elephant because it and uh, this is a different way. Mm -hmm. Because it, we have the one thing that lie and uh, the spirituality. And maybe just one last thing and then I'll open it up. You mean you've talked a lot about the value of what is hidden or of things that are mysterious and not fully known. And I almost think the way you're talking about the, the gaze of the elephant, it's, you can't ever fully know the, the kind of mind of the elephant too. Um, and maybe you can talk about how you value things that are not entirely revealed or entirely known. Oh, it's an, uh, in Thailand, you know, uh, um, we use an elephant is and uh, like it's a uh, long time. We use the elephant for the war. If you see it in the picture, so and uh, in Thailand we respect the the elephant because it the war is is like it and they can protect the country. The elephant it look like a soldier mm -hmm. who come to fight in the war. So and the people is respect them. So and it not look like an animal. So, and 
for the 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 culture it's like and the we bring the elephant to like the symbol it's like if you see it and the, the former flag in thailand we use an elephant it to like the symbol and we use the elephant to and the light and the some of the logo of the beer <laughs> in thailand so it's very famous beer and it's the same we use and the the, the light on in the beer also so you you know it's, and uh, it's, that's why it's the reason that and the people in 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 Thailand we respect the animal. So and, and I think it's and uh, this is and uh, traditional from the ancestor it teaches us it a long long time and we 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 try to and uh, like to understand about and uh, yes it maybe it's and uh, it look surprising for the foreign people but it i think this is and our way to and uh, one is and uh, we try to protect the animal with like the other species so in a way you don't need to the elephant world is sort of a microcosm for this larger world that the elephant mm -hmm. is already a part of it's already this sort of potent symbol mm -hmm. and kind of a part of um almost like kind of an everyday life world all this is and uh, it's light and the elephant is and uh, the the biggest animal mm -hmm. in this in 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 our country so and then right now the elephant is, is diff, you know it's very difficult difficult to find it. elephants have to and uh, long life so it's normally it's an elephant about and uh, 80 or and uh, 100 year old if you die mm -hmm. so and the elephant is like and the 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 animal is and uh, it's not different from the the small animal. Mm. So and the uh, elephant is like it related it for uh, as you said that it's related to and uh, the Thai culture mm -hmm. and related to the Thai spirituality. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is and uh, in the elephant world is and. It's different because it and this village it and four hundred years ago that it, they live with and uh, Kui people together, not separated. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So they're already kind of a unit in a way because they're mm -hmm. people. Yes, yes. It normally it's and uh, in the n I don't know if it's and other place it's an other country. They 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 feed the elephant we have to lie and the the cat. For the elephant can lift it, mm. but if you see in this picture, the elephant elephant is live in the one house mm. so that we separated. In the one part is the human, and another part is for the elephant can sleep it. Yeah, and this is and uh, the elephant is a domestic animal. It, the people is it usually comment about why we don't let the the elephant in the forest. That I said that this is and uh, this is elephant in this protest is and they're familiar to and uh, the human. So the human is love them is like the family also. Yeah. So and if they left if you let let them to in the forest, they don't know how to find food. Mm. This is and uh, it finally it like and if you go to if if the elephant is go to in the forest. So you will see like and uh, the another elephant that lived in the forest. So the elephant will frighten. Yeah, yeah. It took light and you have it like the mafia in the forest that it will the bully, it you are a domestic elephant, so cannot live there. Yeah, so they have this kind of uh, mutual dependency yeah, between yeah. the yes, people yes, and the elephants. Yes. We, we, we try to make it and uh, the quality of place for a domestic elephant. Mm -hmm. We try to make to and uh, people to understand 
about and uh, the way of the living. The elephant in Thailand is different with the elephant in the world. It's different from the elephant in an, another part or the, another mm. continent. Yeah, so it's why this museum is so, it's not replicable in a way. Yes. It's like very yes. specifically rooted to this relationship yes. in this particular place and time. Yes, 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 yes. I wanted to open it up and see if there were other questions. Over here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bunzer, um, for your um, um, really beautiful work and humble work. And um, I want to ask something about uh, the exercise you did with the elephant dung, because it, it seems that you did a, even a perceptual exercise or act of using dung um, from the raw material to placing it in an installation and then in a gallery space. Uh, so with all the um, understandings of what how dung is part of kind of uh, um, a, a bodily um, a waste or fluid or, or it has uh, different enzymes and right um, I know dung is not usually not smelly for um, um, elephants so it, it probably doesn't have uh, odor but still the notion so I, I wanted to ask you how did well you said how you overcome variability with dung in one place in Thailand and versus dung in the UK and the difference in their um, weight and how you added lime to the dung from the UK, but how did you encounter the perceptual exercise working with students uh, uh, when you sent them the mold and um, they used the dung with curators, with other designers, with visitors, with regulators, uh, right? Inserting ma variable materials or geological or uh, waste materials to um, gallery space, you know? can um, occur in different reactions. And then, yeah, so how, how was your work on that kind of lens of perception on the material? Um, And uh, uh, thank you. And uh, the dung in and uh, the 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 dung big in Versailles, is, and as you know that we make from and the Thailand. So and uh, <coughs> the the because it and the the curator, the curator is one that everything made from the original. Everything is the uh, light and the peace. It must come from the original country made from and the uh, native people so and uh, the way of and the curator that think about and if and uh, the the people in front they, they want to know they want to know about and if and uh, the brick it form and uh, my country is set up in in this palace, so and what happened because it and uh, this big is and uh, can can situated in the outside mm. in the courtyard, but uh, in Royal Academy they use it like and uh, I call it the experimental, but I cannot is under the quality control to them. But it looked like an experimental. Mm. It's about between and uh, cement and lime. Because it and uh, in UK we think about and uh, the cement is it it lie and uh, the material is and 
apply and uh, what is the carbon? It, it make the carbon dioxide even if used in a little bit. Then. But so they try to make an another way and give me to opinion about and if we change from the cement, it become to the lamb. It better. I said that it's okay. It's not better. Because it and uh, the lamb is like an okay, it an uh, geo material. It's lighter, but it's not strong. In and uh, and uh, we call like the west side brick. We test it. We test it the compressed. We test it the strengthened. We test it and uh, the strong in the standard compressed. But in 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 London. And uh, it is not the standard mm -hmm. for the for the strong. So and this is and the way it different. Okay. But it's and uh, the the food from and uh, the the elephant in Thailand, the the elephant it eat the glass. So it's like it's Napier glass. It, and the glass is very strong. But in Colchester Zoo, it and the elephant eat and like the apple. the apple, banana, the banana. <laughs> so it and the, <laughs> the recipe is different. So and the the strong cut off and the dung is different. Mm. So this is and uh, but by the way, and I think it and uh, we can share about and uh, knowledge because it and. Uh, it to me, it and sustainability is is challenge. We can a challenge in the world because it and we have no secret about that because it and we are we confront in the same problem like now. So, but it, we have to use in the same language to solve the problem. The sustainability is the is the is the same is the same language that we can use it. Even it's like in the people that come to and uh, many countries use and different language. It's right now, but you cannot you cannot use and different language. Like it and sustainability. Yeah. But it's, to me, it sustainability it means like awareness. It means like the responsibility for and uh, our world. Did anyone else have a question? I think over here. <coughs> um, I mean, first, first of all, thanks for, for this uh, refreshing lecture. It was it's incredible to see, like, buildings addressing these, like, notions of more than human um, uh, projects or more than human context. Uh, however, um, I would like to, to, to ask you about the, the role of the, of the buildings like in these specific contexts, in these specific areas, since you know, like basically, the act of the act of, of construction is is violent. Sometimes you know, like in even in in the forest, is even more violent. So I I just wonder. I mean, I would like to ask you, what do you think about the future of the building? And you know, like ab about the future of the act of con of construction, like in. In, in this new idea and this new paradigm of, of how we, 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 we need to learn how to, you know, like relate with, with the more than human species. Thank you. I think it's in the, in the future, it's in, we have to many way. We have to many way, uh, many way to and uh, to build the building. So, but we have to another way to unbuild. We have to think before you build it, you know, and. Uh, it's not important to build, not build. It's just to innovate. In the future, you ask me and you just look and uh, something is important to do that. 
if important, if you necessary, you can do. You do. If, if not important to do that, okay, you can wet it. <laughs> wet it. Because it, you build too much, it. you know, the architect, architect that is produced to a university is and maybe you build too much. It. For example, in, in Thailand, even build everything that sometimes it, I, I, I very confused about and uh, why you build this one. In Thailand, it, we have to, right now, money festival. Build a lot that. When you build a lot that, the festival make it like the waste material after the festival finished. Mm -hmm. We have to think about and uh, after after we build it, where the building will go. So it can, uh, I don't know, I answer your question, but it can, I think it can. Uh, yeah, something that I like deeply appreciated in the work you showed was just how permeable a building is. It's sort of both yeah. the building and the landscape yeah. and the inhabitants and the visitors and the microbes and the creatures that live and pass through and kind of yeah. make up this kind of yeah. larger network of experiences yeah. that kind of surround the building. And I think this sort of before and after the yeah. building is also something that you're very yeah. kind of attentive to and kind yeah. of, yeah. you know, the building puts these tendrils into sort of all the domains that kind of surround and touch on it. This is, and I think it's in, in the way of, and uh, it's my opinion, this is and, uh, the way of and the poor technique, yeah. poor people technique. Yeah. That like, and uh, we, we, if we don't have the money, then why you have to try to find the money to build it? Okay, we just it and uh, look at the something, it's like, it's if it value, we keep it. Just do only it if it necessarily do. If not necessarily, don't do that. Okay, I think unless there are any other pressing questions, uh, one more. We'll take only, one more. Only if there is. Go ahead. Only if there is room, um, Swadika. I, 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 I think this was an extraordinary moving. Um, not even just body of work, but series of questions that you shared. And I, I, I would just love to tap into the one of, of, of violence, which I like, love so much in, in terms of also how you contextualize your work or how your work contextualizes itself in terms of the kind of entanglement that was mentioned or detanglement at the, at the beginning. And I guess what I'm specifically asking for is what what do you think, and, and how would you think about scaling your work if this, is, if this is not too basic of a question? Also in terms of like, what makes your work so specific? And I'm not even just talking about that human, non-human context with the elephant and natural versus the artificial environment, but I'm also talking about the, the kind of question of how can we locally learn, like even within the Thai context of not making the kind of global mistakes of what my dear friend was speaking about in terms of violence. When you drive through Chiang Mai or Krabi or Phuket or Patong and y you see like the same type of um, 30, 50 million baht type of like houses mm. that people like kind of built their own totally closed off villages that could very much be in Scotland or Northern England or like Eastern Germany, where in fact a lot of people relocate, right? Like and, and, and kind of set up camp, but they also bring financial, architectural, environmental tool sets with them from places like oftentimes like the European context, not understanding the kind of local one that you are introducing with your work and with the materiality and with, I think, also the typologies that you're introducing without, I guess, relying on that cookie cutter notion and like influx of, of, of really like money from other places, like to Thailand, kind of almost like replacing what's so locally available 
which is what you're working on. So, like, do you see, is there any hope, I guess, like from <laughs> the inside out, like, like locally kind of populating that global question of how do I, how do I resist in a way? Um, that influx of both money and then also a particular type of living, the same type of materials and windows and like uh, kind of that repetition that then becomes its village within a village versus like, I guess like what, what, what you are so successfully and movingly push for, that kind of coexistence. <laughs> yes, maybe it's and uh, you know it's like and uh, okay, it uh, sustainability is not only about the architecture. Mm. I I I I I understand it, but sustainability is and related to about the economic also. But how how can we balance it between and the uh, economic and the architecture? So and that's why I answer them about and uh, because it and you know it and uh, it's my country in fact yeah. we we have to the a lot of the problem so and then the problem sometimes I cannot talk it so and this is and uh, yes if we look at in and about and uh, the global economic. Yeah. It's like it's an our forest that you see in and the Sulin. When the economic the economic is grow, the environment the envelope, the forest what they destroy. This is and the, the we have to balance. We have to rethink really about them. How to make them? You can live in and the, the growing economic but you can protect with the, our environmental together. You started your talk with the word attitude, and I feel like what your work does so incredibly is kind of models other attitudes, other attitudes towards living together with other beings, uh, yeah. other yeah. ways of sort of living yeah. on this planet. And I think um, so many of the projects just sort of, they put forward this um, kind of lived, version of that attitude. What does it mean to live those attitudes yeah. and give form yeah. to those attitudes? Yeah. When it's like it and when the natural resource was destroyed, it's right now, natural resource may be situated in Thailand, but you know, it's not, this is, this is not the Thailand, but this is natural resource of the world. You know. <laughs> It's not only the, my, my, my country, it's the world, it's the life and the world property. If we, and uh, you, you destroy the natural resource in this place, it may like it affect to and the world. That's why it's and uh, the time, it's not an about and the uh, non-human center that I talked about. It's like now and how and uh, where we go after the non-human center. I would like to say that now this is an earth center. Thank you. Great, thank you.